Hello, this is Tim Gillian from Focus First, and this short tutorial is on how to create your competitive price line. Now, I'll be doing this tutorial on the Mac, but it works the same way as on the PC. If there's any differences, I'll be sure to point them out. Now, we're going to assume that you've already listened to several of the other tutorials, that you already do know how to export data from your MLS, and you have an overall understanding of the visual pricing system. Also, that you know how to select data on the MLS data form. As you can see, we've already read in the export file. To create the price line graph, we need to select the pricing button. Once we select the pricing button, we'll see the MLS data form. Let's also make sure that the scattergram ribbon is showing so that our scattergram tools are easily available. Now, as you're probably aware from watching the other videos, the competitive price line chart is not created automatically for you. So let's select data to put on our price line. As we showed in the previous video, we'll just use the select data under the price line option in the create dialog box. So let's bring that dialog box up. Of course, the default is to select all the status activity that's sold in the last six months. As you may recall from the selecting data video, for the price line, we want to select properties that are comparable in size. So we'll look at all the properties that are within plus or minus 10%. For this sample, we'll select 20, 2800 as the total square footage. Once we do that, we get the range of 2520 to 3080. Of course, we can always overwrite that if we want to include some property that's right near the edge. So let's select those properties. Now we can see the selection that was made. And as you can see, we have several properties that have been selected. Now let's assume that we're looking at pricing a two-story property. Usually when I'm pricing a two-story property, I only want to compare it to other two-story properties. So let's sort on two-story properties and let's get rid of the other floor plans so we will only show two-story properties on this price line. Again, I'm going through fairly quickly on how to select data since we did cover it in more detail in the previous video. So let's create the price line and see what it looks like. To create the price line, use the Create Graph Option button to bring up the graphing dialog box. Then select the Create Graph on the price line option side. Your price line was now created. Now, to find the price line, we notice there's a new tab down below here, which is labeled price line. When we select this tab, we'll see the price line chart. Let's take a look at this chart. Notice when we look at the graph, at the very top of the title is a price line, and there it is activity in the name of the subdivision that we had here. We can also see as we scroll down that there's actually three different sections down below here. There's the sold properties, the for sale properties, and then down below is, whoops, down below is the did not sell or withdrawn and expired properties. Each of the tick marks here represent a property. On this chart, we show the properties that have sold. Each tick represents a property that was sold. Notice that in this box, it shows a price. And the scale is shown down below. So for this case, each of the tick marks represent $1,000 in price. In this section, we can see most of the properties in this size range sold in the $245,000 to $253,000 category. Obviously, the exception is this property down below, which sold at $222,000. That property is probably distressed sale, or maybe it needs some TLC. Now, we'd have to verify that by looking at a detailed MLS sheet. If you scroll down, we can see the properties that are currently for sale. The yellow represents a property that's currently under contract. Again, we also see a property down below here. It's also probably a distressed sale. And we can see two properties up here for sale at a more retail price. Now, if the subject property were distressed sale, we'd probably put it next to the competition right here. But let's assume that's not the case. 
these properties right here are going to be our competition. But if we look at where the homes have sold compared to where the homes that are currently for sale, we see that there's quite a bit of difference. Homes are selling in a $250,000 price range, but they're really listing in a 270 to 275 range. Now let's look at the withdrawn property. Here it is right here. Notice that it's at the current place where the properties that are currently on sale are at. So if we want to get this property sold, if we had a new listing, we'd want it listed below the competition. Matter of fact, for this case, we'd probably want to list it probably somewhere near the $260,000 price range. If we listed it at $260,000, we'd look like we are a pretty good deal compared to the competition. As you can see here, if we list at $260,000, we're going to look like the best deal in the neighborhood. So when you present this to your customer, the script we like to use is, here are your neighbors, and here are your neighbors that are moved. Which do you prefer to be with? Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to watch some of our other videos. And don't forget to press the like button below.